Okay, call. I'll let you get some rest. Love you know love about you. that. And uh, talk to you soon. Okay, bye bye. Hello? Hey, how you doing? I haven't been able to focus on that. Um, which I'm sorry about, but there just hasn't been a way to do it. All right. things, um, you know, discussions like this, uh, playing and talking about the music in an open way is extremely useful because, you know, I, I have a lot of people who are connected to the jazz mainstream and the media always asking, well, do you think dissonance is a real issue in your music uh, preventing people to get to it? And I think the, the, that's not it at all. I mean, anybody who's alive in the 21st century has heard distorted guitar, has heard dissonance, you know, uh, the issue is more the walls that are put up and the preconceptions that are put up in front of the music we play, you know, so people go into it with a, with a feeling that they, they're not going to like it or they don't even go because, oh, well, I need to know the jazz history before I can even understand one note of what's going on and, you know, whereas I think with the people we work with and, if, you know, you, this festival is an excellent example of that. If you go to the music every night, the music that's being played here fits into contemporary society just as much as any other kind of music that's being done. Um, it asks a lot from the audience, it, it asks a lot from the musicians, but that sense of risk, I mean, look at our society. These are risky times. To me, the question is, is, uh, is the music too atonal? Maybe it should be, is it atonal enough? <laughs> Sorry, I, I tend to rant a bit when I talk. <laughs> in college, I'd sit in my room and play along with Cecil Taylor albums. And after five minutes, I mean, I was done. And I was like, fuck. And then he'd be going, you know. He'd have another three sides of an album, you know. And I was like, well, how is he doing this? If I can't play five minutes without becoming hitting a wall, what am I doing wrong and what is he doing right? And then it leads to, like, understanding and practicing. Uh, you know, I think a big part of it, too, is, like, playing with people that are, are better or stronger or more creative, you know. I've been very fortunate to have been able to be bad enough to play with lots of people who are willing to play with me or better. <laughs> it just sounds like a joke, but it's quite true. And I think that's one of the big problems with, with uh, certain schooling, is that they come up with, it. this is the way you do this. This is the way you play over changes. You know? And the truth of the matter is, if it was one or two ways to do it, we wouldn't listen to Sonny Stitt and Charlie Parker and Gene Ammons and Dexter, you know what I mean? There's an infinite number of ways to solve a problem. The issue is solving them in a personal way, which is self-teaching, which is really anybody working in the arts. It comes down to you in the room dealing with it.